Hey guys, this is Chris with SW Trials, and I want to show you today a great password manager tool that is 100% free. If you want to download it, you can follow the link there on your screen or scroll down under this video in the description box. And I put the link there, you can click on it, it'll take you straight to their page where you can download it. You can follow along with me, or you can just go ahead and set up your own account and get started. What I want to do is just briefly show you a little bit about the software. I'm not going to go over all the details because, like I said, it is free and you can just download it and use it yourself. Um, it's very easy to understand. If you used uh, tools in the past like I have for the past five years where I've used LastPass Password Manager, um, which does cost yearly for me to use that, um, you're going to find that this one, uh, the Dashlane, is much easier to use and it's easier to organize and manage and take care of all the information, which is one reason why I love it. It's not too complex or too complicated to use. It doesn't have quite as many options or features as LastPass Manager, um, but really I don't need all those extra features. So, And of course I always like free. And so once you download and install the software, it's only going to take you a couple minutes to get it set up. It'll ask you a few questions. And once you get it done, you're going to see a screen similar like this. Now, you won't have all these boxes here on your screen yet because you have not imported or added any usernames and passwords to Dashlane yet. So what you would need to do, if you already have usernames and passwords stored on your computer, whether it's through a browser or another software tool, you can go over here to File, click on Import Passwords, and you'll see there's different ways you can import passwords from ways that you have them saved on your computer. Now, if this screen is a little bit hard for you to see, you can maximize your window. This was recorded in HD. So here you can see that we can import um, passwords we've saved in Google Chrome, Firefox, Internet Explorer, as well as LastPass, and some other tools down here as well. Now, once we have that done, you're going to see them all listed within this area, and you can sort them by last used, you can sort them by name, category, or even most used, which makes it very convenient. If you just want to come in here, hover over one of them, and click this button on the bottom, which will take you directly to that site and log you in. Otherwise, there's other options by clicking on the top box that will allow you to edit it, edit the information for it, the username, the password, the name, and some other details. You can visit the website. You can share this item or this username and password with a friend or family. And what makes this really nice is that it does it securely. It'll send them an email link. And you can give them authorization whether um, they have uh, the rights to edit the information or whether they can just use the information to log in and they can't make any changes to it. You can copy the password to log in. You can view the password history or you can delete it. Now, if we go over here on the left side, you're going to see also a security dashboard. This is really neat because it gives you an overall picture of your passwords and your accounts and right now it's showing that I have 1,922 accounts. Now many of these accounts, uh, probably the majority of them, 75% of them are not even active. They're just accounts I've had imported from LastPass over the past five years. And so uh, it tells you here how many of them are weak, reused, how many of them are old, and how many are compromised. If I click hide on here, this is what you're going to see by default when you click on security dashboard. But if you come down here and click on show, it's going to bring up uh, the detailed information. Uh, and what you can do here is it's, it's um, telling you that, you know, I'm not so safe because I have all these passwords that are so old that have never been updated. And it's telling me ways that I can improve that. And so over here, we can also see where there's secure notes. I love this feature. If you click on add new, it's going to give you the option to add pieces of information that's going to be stored securely within Dashlane. These can be things regarding passwords, finance documents, memberships, passwords, like for your Wi-Fi, software license numbers. And just to give you an example, if we were to click on memberships, it's going to open up a box and it's going to give us an area where we can fill out details about memberships that we may have so we can keep them and remember them. Or if we want to go click on add new, we can click on uh, legal document. And if we click on that, you can see here there's different information showing here for the legal document. And so all kinds of information we can keep and store securely on our computer and as well we can share this information with others. Now down here is your wallet. This is where your personal information is going to be kept such as your name, your address, your phone number, um, as well as payments. You can keep information like your credit and debit cards, PayPal accounts, and bank accounts securely on here. 
and I do just want to give you a heads up also when you create your account it's going to ask you to create a master password or a password that's going to give you full access to your software now you have to remember your master password and if you forget it there is no option to recover that password there's no option to send you a reminder of that password because that's what makes this software so secure is that you are the only one that knows that master password therefore you're the only one that can access the information within the Dashlane password manager so do not forget the master password okay so next we have the IDs on the IDs we can add things like uh, passports and tax information and it would it will even notify you six months before your IDs and passports expire down here's receipts this is really neat I haven't had a chance to use this yet but what it'll do is keep track of your online purchases so if you make a purchase online a screen will pop up and it'll ask you if you want to keep a copy of this within uh, this section if you choose yes it's going to store it here for you and if for some reason it doesn't you come up here and click on add new and manually add it now contacts this is where you can share your information with your family friends co-workers um, it's pretty easy to do it's, it's, it's secure it'll send them an email do a secure link they have to click on and then they can use that as well and then for emergency it says here's where you can give someone emergency access to the passwords you keep in Dashlane now down here at the bottom you'll see where it says sync is off and you can turn it on now this is a premium upgrade which you can get but you don't have to um, I didn't purchase this uh, you can install this software on your phones, on your computers, your laptops, or whatever, and use it for free. But if you want to be able to sync the data between all those devices, you will have to upgrade to a premium account, which I believe is around $29 or maybe $39. I'm not sure. I didn't upgrade. I'm not going to upgrade. I'm just going to use it the way it is. Um, but there's that option. If you do want to sync all the information together, you can upgrade to do that. So that's about all there is to this tool. It's very easy to use, very easy to organize, keep track of your passwords, your information, your notes, all securely within one place where only you know the master password, so nobody else is going to have access to this information. Now, when you visit a website to use it, let me show you how that works. Okay, so here we are on the Dropbox account page where I can log in. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to refresh this page and show you what happens when you visit a site and it just opens up with a, a box here to log in. So let's click here. And you can see here as soon as it refreshes, it says choose the account you would like to log in with. Now it's asking me if I want to use my, my personal account, if I want to use um, my business account or if I want to use the one that I currently have set up with our church now if I click off of here it's going to go away and if I click back in the box you're going to see this box does pop back up once again and so that is how easy it is to use now with Chrome and Firefox there's also a plugin that they can add to it you'll notice up here this is my last pass um, icon here I still do have it installed and then this one here is for Dashlane and if I click on it it's going to bring up a little box where I can search for any of the usernames and passwords I have. If I hover over it, it will allow me to click this gear button where I can make changes to it. I can click this tab, which will allow me to generate passwords uh, to fill in. And you can have different settings here depending on how secure you want them to be. And just a few other things here that uh, may come in helpful as well. So that is my review for you guys for the Dashlane Password Manager. Overall, I think this is an amazing software to be free. Um, it's, it's very secure. It's recommended by numerous sites such as um, the Wall Street Journal, by Forbes, by Lifehacker, by PC Mag, and, and many others. So um, go ahead and download it free. Like I said, you can use it on different devices that you own. Uh, that link's under this video. Just click on it. It'll take you straight to their website. So if you do want to get more information, read more about it, uh, you can do it there as well as download it. So I hope this review has been helpful for you guys. And uh, until I see you next time, have a wonderful day.